Hey guys, it's Hubert here. Hope you are having an amazing Father's Day right now. So I got this buddy who owns a restaurant, and he was asking me the other day. He said, "Hey Hubert, I really want a studio space in the back of my kitchen, but I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on lighting gears. Can it be done?" Yeah, sure. How much do you want to spend? Forty bucks. Let's try forty bucks. So I grabbed this takeout package、uh, from a dim sum restaurant in Markham.、Uh, they are called the、uh, Providential Nine. Amazingly, they have a whole lot selection of frozen pre-made dim sums that you can just quickly go home, steam them up, and、uh, they are made by their chef. So it's not somebody from the factory. It's actually the chef made this dim sum. So what are the options? We have the meat and veggie dumplings. We have the shrimp dumplings, fish roe and、uh, shrimp siu mai, and we also got sticky rice with chicken and octopus. And I got、uh, two portions of each. And let me just、uh, cook up this、uh, dim sum and show you how to shoot really simple、uh, food photography with super cheap lighting setup. So let's do it. Alright, guys. So hopefully you like the little video that just had over there. And、uh, so let's get into the topic. When I say、uh, shooting with lighting gears less than forty dollars, I was actually talking about this. So I got this lights of Amazon for I think nineteen dollars and ninety seven cents each, and I got two of them for less than forty dollars. So the amazing thing about these lights are first they have a big clamp at the bottom. So you don't really need to mount it on the tripod、uh, on the set. You can just clamp it anywhere. And secondly, they have three different branding setup. So if we just press this button at the bottom, so that's、uh, low, medium, and high. And the third thing about these lights are they have three different color temperature setup. So this is、um, daylight. And、uh, this is tungsten, and this is somewhere in between. So I did a really simple setup on my table, and let's see how I can use these two lights to create some really amazing food photography. Let's go. So you guys can see, we already have the、uh, shrimp dumplings placed right there, and that's how it looks from the screen. And I'm using the first light right here, shining down at a 45 degree angle. It's mimicking the、uh, the window light, so it's、uh, harsh, but it's not overpowering. So I'm just creating a little bit shadow. With the lid, so it brings out the dumpling a bit more. All right, so now I'm using the second light. Right now it's not pointing at anything. So the second light comes up. I'm gonna turn the angle a little bit, so it's creating a strip of light. On top of the dumplings, just really small strip. All right. Okay, 
Now I'm going to use a third piece of foam board. Place it right here just to bring up the shadow a little bit. You can tell that's without it. And that's with the light. Alright, so right now we have a bright, brighter, dark situation. So right now I'm going to bring this part down a little bit. So I'm going to introduce this small plate. Right here. Yeah. And the angle of the spoon, I'll turn a little bit. So you just exit the frame on the left bottom corner. And now, since it's a uh, Chinese food, so they can't really miss in the chopsticks. So I'm gonna place the chopsticks right here. And we can play around with the shadow of the second light. Yeah, I think something like that will be fun. All right, and we have uh, our tape on the left top corner, so I'll just move this to block it. All right. So right now everything is overlapping each other which is exactly what we wanted. I'm going to introduce another piece of foam board. So that piece of foam board, I'm going to place it right here. You see, just to bring up that shadow just a little bit. Perfect. All right. And you can tell from the from the holes that we pulled before, we got a little bit of smoke coming up. And let me just bring the light a bit closer. So the smoke can be a bit more noticeable. Alright. Let's take another shot. So we brought the angle down a little bit so we can see the steam better. And let's just take another one. So as you can see, you really don't need expensive lighting gears to shoot good photographs. Uh, so for this video, I'm giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. And all you need to do is uh, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and find me on Instagram. So leave a comment below uh, of your Instagram name, and uh, I'll pick a winner by the end of this month, and I'll contact you on Instagram. So in the end, have a nice and safe weekend and enjoy the weather and i'll see you on my next video bye